Welcome to the Lotus Goddess Divine Love. Hi everyone, how's everyone doing today? Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Welcome back everyone. Welcome if you're new to my channel. I do Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, Twin Flame Journey Charm Readings. And let's begin. And just keep in mind that this is a general reading. And just take what resonates. If it doesn't, that's okay. You can have a look at one of my other readings. If there's a title that stands out for you, there might be a message there for you. Some of you have been asking, don't you change your charms? <laughs> um, a lot of my charms are from my childhood. I've been reading for many, 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 many years. And I've been guided by the divine since I was very little. Very strong connection with the divine. And uh, the first time that I came to know I was a twin was at the age of six. And for those who may know the story, it's somewhere there. <laughs> um, but yeah, they, the angels have always spoken to me. So yeah, so a lot of the charms I have here, I don't want to remove them. They're from my childhood. And yes, the energies in these charms are very important to me. I'm connected to them. And yeah, and I do cleanse my charms as well. <laughs> for those who are curious. So let's get started. Let's see what message comes through. Ooh, Divine Feminine. Wow. Divine Feminine in this reading. Uh, you are a queen. You are so powerful so strong you're so focused you are so divine you are precious you you speak very um you speak your truth you speak with strength you no longer hesitate i feel like in the past if you were introvert you're no longer introvert <laughs> um yeah so and same with me like if if you followed me when i first started here on my channel um, yeah, my voice was quite shaky um, in the beginning. I'm quite shy when it comes to the camera, but yeah, we all evolve, including me. <laughs> um, and I'm with you guys, so we're all in on this together. So Divine Feminines, um, I see here that you've grown a lot, you've matured a lot, and you've evolved a lot, and you no longer hesitate. You do what you feel you do what is best for you and you love yourself. There's so much self-love here. Beautiful love, so pure. So much purity. You know, I see here that with what you do, you always do with good intentions and a lot of things that you do, there's so much good that comes out of it and really amazes other people. Like I see other people are shocked sometimes by what you do because you're so good at what you do. And because you do what you love and because you do what you naturally do, um, I feel like people question, like, how does she do it? You do what you do because you, you do what you do best. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a lot of beautiful things here in this reading. This is a beautiful reading for Divine Feminine. I don't even know where to start. Divine Feminine, some of you are really, um, really building your abundance. So different aspects of your life. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, money wise, but it can be money. But I see a lot having to do with building, um, growing, manifesting, um, beautiful things coming in for Divine Feminine in all aspects of your life. I feel there's a lot of balance here. Some of you are taking up old hobbies that you put aside at one time. You are kind of like open, reopening. I, what I feel and what I'm visualizing is something about the box that you put away. You're now taking it off the shelf. You're dusting it off and you're reopening a box that has to do with the gifts within you. Things that you had within you that you put aside. Hobbies that you have. One of it is crocheting. <laughs> whoever that's for I heard the word crocheting 
if you are into that, please type it below. It's something having to do with crochet or knitting, something like that. I'm, yeah. <laughs> um, I feel like you used to make, you used to make doilies, doilies and, um, doilies and some sort of, um, it feels like something that's like a pocket. I'm not sure. Some, some sort of pocket, some sort of cover could be like, what I'm getting is um, what I'm visualizing is some, it, it's a little bit different. It's a pocket for something, a cover for something. I, at first I thought it was a mitten, but it's actually a cover for something to keep a something, um, protected or, or something like that. Could be like a, um, could be for a pot, like a teapot. I don't know. Do they do? Does anyone make those things? <laughs> I don't know. Do, does anyone make like covers for teapots? Did, did they used to make that? I've never seen it, but that's the visual I got. That it's something that's knitted like a um, knitted as a cover, and then I saw a teapot. Hmm. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's crazy. Look at this. The teapot. Wow. That's the confirmation right there. So it is something hand-knitted for a teapot. Teapot and um, doilies. Divine Feminine, you are, you are going into a direction where you are Revisiting things from your past, it feels like the good things, the things that brought you joy, you're bringing it back. So forever, whoever it resonates for, it doesn't only have to be with knitting, but there's other things that you're bringing into, into your present, something that you enjoyed doing at one time. So many beautiful blessings that are coming in for Divine Feminine in this reading. Some of you are getting some sort of raise. It's not a big raise, but it's a raise. It's something. <laughs> raise, um, yeah, you may, you're getting some kind of increase in your, in your uh, earnings. Some sort of raise, maybe even a promotion, change in a job. It has to do, wow, it has to do with um, something at work, something that, there's something that is being uh, shifted or changed at this time. Some kind of um, um, changes are being made that I feel like not everyone knows about, that it's going to bump. It's kind of like it's going to bump, bump someone to one place, bump someone into another because there's an unexpected change. It's like rotational. It's like rotating people to different areas. But, but it shows here that you are going to benefit from it, whatever it is. Divine Feminine... Um, another thing I see in this reading is that there's something that you don't see yet. It has to do with some sort of wish fulfillment. It will come across as something as very heavy for you. Like it, it's a, it's a blessing in disguise. Something that is going to be a little bit of a burden or I feel like it, oh, it feels like, um, uh, unwanted, um, uh, unwanted visitor or something. Something that you don't expect, something that you don't, you don't see it as something good, but it's actually a blessing in disguise. It's going to bring about something. And I feel like it has to do with news, some sort of news. Somebody might share something that you are not aware of. Another thing I see here is that 
um, now it's showing up a masculine here. Um, the masculine, when it comes to this masculine in this reading has a little bit of a pride when it comes to their finances, being success. This is somebody who's into wealth. They know that they have a strong connection with divine feminine. Um, at this time, they're focused on their money. They're focused on building their wealth. It shows here that this divine masculine is really focused on building wealth. There's going to be a time where something will clear out. Um, there's a clear out that will take place within the divine masculine, which is going to make him shift his mind from from his personal personal growth. His like it feels like financial growth. Focusing on financial growth is his main priority. So it's going to shift his priority to love. There's something that's going to take place that's going to clear out. It's like to restore some sort of like to calm that um, that drive that he has towards wanting to achieve, wanting to build my wealth, wanting to grow um, financially. Something that's going to calm it down and he's going to shift his energy and subconsciously shift his energy and it's going to be focused towards love. It's going to start. It's going to start that new cycle. The divine masculine doesn't see this yet. It shows here that he is, he is blinded to it twice, meaning that. The focus on the material gain, wealth, whatever it may be, but it shows wealth here, money. Um, this is somebody who is really into making money. Um, his focus is going to transform into love. And I see here that he doesn't see it happening twice. One has to do with because things are going to really pick up when it comes to building wealth. It could be that he's he has a business or something takes off, something that really pushes him into um, being so focused on that that he cannot see anything else. So at, at that time, he is not really looking towards love. And another time not seeing love is is because I feel like he he closed himself off because there was something that he was avoiding. And it shows here that avoiding it because he knows he has to put the work in order to put the work into self in order to it's like he is aware that he need, when he faces what he needs to face it involves a lot of work, spiritual work. And he's avoiding that. So not really wanting to see love twi twice. Once because his whatever that financial thing is will take off. And the second one is because the thought of love means that he needs to really focus on something that he's not ready to focus on, on yet. I see that it doesn't matter how much he tries to avoid or tries to postpone his, his progress, the transformation here is supposed to take place. This masculine will transform. There's a rebirth here. Rebirth, new beginning. This new beginning will make him see that the decisions that he once made was very unfair by him. His... He, what he did it shows here something about him being unfair. He will be aware of the things that he had had said or done that were unfair towards the divine feminine and the connection itself. When he comes in tra to that transformation, this divine masculine will move forward to that to building a new beginning with their counterpart, starting anew. 
coming from a place with good intentions, pure intentions, clear, very clear. And he will choose and decide. He will choose happiness over 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 success, meaning over that monetary gain. He will choose love over, over material, over the material world, because by that time he would have transformed, he would have been more evolved, and he would be, it shows here a rebirth, it's, the, um, it's like the phoenix has risen, this divine masculine will, will rise to the point where he will see that love Love is more important than any anything else. The divine love is most important here. So this is the reading for today. I hope you like this reading. If you like my readings, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. And thank you all for watching. Have a great day. Bye.